Precious changed very little from the demo. Basically, we made the song work with Dave's voice because Martin's demo was spot on. And it was a very personal song to Martin, that one. Precious and fragile things Need special handling I don't think there was any real even discussion about it particularly. It was seemed very obvious from the start that that should be the first single. They work together really well, I think. The, the fact that you've got what is essentially a very pretty pop song with quite shockingly personal lyrics on it. A lot of our songs do deal with subjects that are not exactly typical pop themes. Precious in particular, for me, is a song about my children because I'm in the middle of a divorce at the moment. And it's about them, you know, the, 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 what they must be going through. Things get broken. I thought we'd manage, but words left unspoken, left us so written. There was so little left to do. Where were you when I fell from grace? A frozen heart, an empty space. It was always a fairly obvious single. It was kind of up-tempo, had a really catchy hook, lyrically strong. I think it's good that we had one of Dave's songs as a single, because I think you know that would that fully represents the record, you know. Christian Eigner plays drums in the band, and um, Andrew Philpot, who's done a lot of programming in the past. We worked together in my little studio in New York and sort of bashed these ideas around. I don't sit down and sort of start a song from here and finish it here and then go, oh, that was good, okay, great, there's one in the bag. I thought we call it Dave Gantra, but it's that, that other person. I think Dave was quite excited by the fact that Martin was going to be working on his songs. When you've got one of the best songwriters in the world helping you on your songs, that's a pretty good thing, pretty good vibe. I think it was came from a phrase somebody said to him when he was sort of really uh, in a bit of a bit of a state and uh, somebody told him to suffer well. Martin was a really interesting one, like Precious, it's quite a vintage Depeche song. I've been a martyr for love. And I will die in the flames As I draw my last breath As I'm closing on death I will call at your name We all had confidence in the track as it being a good enough track to, to be used for something. And it was definitely a single contender as well for playing the angel. So it was quite an odd decision to sort of to say, well, actually, this isn't going to go on the record. It was a great track, but there was a balance on the record in it, and that threw it slightly off balance. I like to quote that Dave said once, he said that I've made a 25-year career out of one subject. <laughs> there might be two, basically he's right. The challenge has to be in the work, because it's no longer about anything else. We realised that uh, still as popular as we was in, in 1981, it's great feeling and very, feel very privileged. Nice. Sound like one of the royal family. <laughs> <laughs> From the day I was born, I've been moved like a boy by the greatest of